Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 14. Dajia hao, huan ying lai dao Coffee Break Chinese. Dajia hao, hen gao xing he da jia yi qi xue xi zhong wen. Hao de. We are delighted to be back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese and we're moving to a different topic mm. this time. This time we're going to be focusing on how you would check into a hotel. Very useful. Very useful indeed. If you're going to be traveling to a Chinese speaking area where you can check into a hotel, of course, you can now order your drinks and order your food and everything else in Chinese, but you need to know how to check into a hotel. And that's what we'll be doing in this episode. Just before we go on, however, if this happens to be the first episode of Coffee Break Chinese that you're listening to, then you should know that you can go all the way back to listen one and start learning Chinese with me, Mark, the learner, along with Crystal, our teacher. Crystal? Right, before we get started, let's look at some basic aspects of vocabulary, some basic words that we'll need for this lesson. So, Crystal, can you tell us what a hotel is in, uh, in Mandarin? You could say, Bing Guan. Bing Guan. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people say, Fan Dian. That's like a restaurant. Yeah, or 大饭店, a big restaurant, but it's a hotel. Okay, so is this a hotel where you would sleep, even though you would be eating there as well? Yes. Okay, so you said 宾馆 or 饭店. 饭店. Or the other one was big restaurant. 大饭店. 大饭店. And if we're talking about a room in a hotel, what's the word for room? 房间. 房间, mm-hmm. As opposed to 饭店. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty tricky, okay? <laughs> so, 饭店, restaurant or hotel, but now we're talking about a room. 房间. Let's hear it again. 房间. Okay. Now, in a hotel scenario, we would be looking at talking about a reservation. So... What's the word for a reservation? Yu ding. Yu ding. So could I say wo yo yu ding? Yeah, you just say I have a reservation. I have a reservation. Mm-hmm. Wo yo yu ding. Okay. Now, one thing I find very tricky is the difference between wo yo and wo yao. So, wo yo is I have, mm. and wo yao is I want. Right. It's very, very, very tricky. But okay, if we say I have a reservation, wo yo yu ding. But you can also say I reserved a room. What's Chinese for a room, Mark? Um, fang jian. Fang jian. So, how would you say I reserved a room? Wo. So is that just like taking yu ding, which is the, the noun for a reservation, and making it into a past verb by putting le on yeah, the end? Yeah, correct. Right, so wa yu ding le fang jian. I reserved a room. Mm-hmm. So if I've arrived at the hotel, I can say I have a reservation. Wa yu ding le fang jian. I think probably the next question that would be asked of me is under what name? Mm. So what what might we hear in this situation? Um, you could say, 你的名字, your name? Okay, we've heard 名字 before. Mm-hmm. 你的名字, mm-hmm. your name. Um, is it likely to be more polite than that? 请问你的名字. Okay, 请问你的名字. Mm-hmm. You might also hear, 预定的名字是什么? Let me work this out. 预定的名字, so that's the reservation's name. Mm-hmm. 是什么 is what? Right, so what name is the reservation in? The reservation is in what name? 预定的名字是什么? Um, can I just say, 我叫, 
or would I say 我姓 if I give my my second name here? Yeah, you could say 我姓, and then you can say the full name after that. Equally, I could say uh, the reservation's name mm. is Johnson or something like mm. that. Uh, 预定的名字是 mm. Johnson, Thompson, 对, 对. whatever. Okay, right. So so far we are we know the word for a hotel, which was. 宾馆 or 饭店 We know the word for a reservation 预定 We know the word for a room 房间 And we can say I have a reservation 我有预定 Or I reserved a room 我预定了房间 if we were talking about a reservation for one night, how would we say that? 预定了一个晚上 So, 晚上 is the same as evening, good evening. Mm. 晚上好 mm-hmm. So, um, you're saying 预定了一个晚上 mm-hmm. Can we use 几个 to ask a question here, then how many nights is the reservation yeah, for? Say. So what would that question sound like? 几个晚上 How many nights? Uh-huh. 几个晚上 uh-huh. I always think it's going to be more complicated than that. But no, no. <laughs> remember the Chinese are very economical with their words. Okay, 几个晚上 uh-huh. How many nights? And so I can answer uh, 预定了 uh, Can I say R? One sh- no, because I would have to change it to liang. And what's the... Is, there's a measure word in here, isn't there? G. That's the same one as for people. Yes. G is a very useful measure word. If you're not sure about which measure word is exactly one, G is normally safe to use. Okay, so uh, you said one shang one night, liang ge one shang. Uh, two nights, mm-hmm. then it would be san ge wan shang, and so on. Right. What would one week be? 一个星期 一个星期 mm-hmm. Two first tones. 星期 right. Okay, so a reservation for one week. So I could say 我有预定一个星期 uh, Makes sense. I have one week reservation. Okay, sounds a little bit funny. <laughs> so how would I say then, I have made a reservation for one week? 我预定了一个星期 So I reserved one week, mm. just like that. 我预定了一个星期 mm-hmm. Excellent. Now there is of course the situation when you arrive at a hotel and you don't have a reservation. So what's happening here would be using... Bu or would we be using mei? Okay, so wo mei you yu ding. And if I wanted to ask, do you have any rooms? Could I use the same structure as I've used before for asking for an English menu or something like that? Yeah. Um, so uh, yo fang jiang ma? Yo fang jian ma? Yo fang jian ma? Uh-huh. Okay, do you have rooms? Or ni men yo fang jian jian ma? Or ni men yo mei yo fang jian? Do you or do you not have rooms? Uh, and there you don't need the ma because it's yo mei yo or yo mei yo. Okay, uh, ni men yo mei yo fang jian? Do you have or do you have not any rooms? Right, so we've asked the question whether we've got a room available or not. We have found out how many nights or weeks the, the room is for. We also need to look at the other parts of this conversation, but we're going to do that after our break. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. 
In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Okay, so we've covered the word for a room. A room, you said, was fang jian. So what about a single room? Dan ren jian. Okay, I'm spotting the word for ren, person in there. So what's the dan part? Single. Single, so it's a single person room. Dan ren jian. What then would a double room be? Shuang ren jian. So shuang means... Double. Double. So mm-hmm. a double person room. Shuang ren jian. Yeah. Um, and is there a different word for a twin room, a room with two beds in it? Yes. And you say shuang chuang jian. What does chuang mean? Bed. Okay, so this is a, tw- a, a, a room with, room two, with beds. two beds. A twin bedroom as opposed yes. to a twin person room. Correct. Okay, so shuang uh, ren Jian for a double room, one room with a double bed, mm-hmm. or shuang chuang jian, a twin room. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the other things that we might want to specify is whether a room would have a bath. Dai yu gang de fang jian. Dai yu gang de de fang jian. So with bath. Of room, a room with a bath. A room with a bath. Dai yu gang de fang jian. Could I say then? Dai yu gang de shuang ren jian. Very good. So a, a double room with a bath. Uh huh. Okay. So what's a shower? Ling yu. Ling yu. So if I wanted a uh, let me see a single room with a shower. Dai Lin Yu the Dan Ren Jen. Oh, this is really quite tricky. Let's put it into a conversation and see if we can do some practice of these words and phrases. How the mark. Now you are entering into a hotel. I want you to have a conversation with the hotel receptionist. Mm-hmm. Here, Are you okay? playing that hotel receptionist? Yes, I am. You're very okay. versatile. You do many things. <laughs> I'm a Waitress teacher too. last time. <laughs> <laughs> now let's start. Okay, uh, You should say hello first. Yeah, sorry, okay. 你好. Then I say, 请问有预定吗? So you're asking me, have I got a reservation? Right. Uh, and then you answer, yes. Um... I Would have. I say "dui"? You could say "dui," yeah, and then you could say "I have." Yo. Uh huh. And then we say, "Xin wen ni de ming zi." Okay, I can answer that. Wo xin peng zhao peng ma ke. Uh huh. And if, for example, you have made a reservation for a single room for two nights, um, would I say, "Wo yu ding le"? Yi ke dan ren jen liang ke wan shang. Okay, can you say that again? Because I find that uh-huh. quite tricky. Wo yu ding le yi ke dan ren jen liang ke wan shang. Right, so what I'm saying is I reserved with the, the past part, the, the past bit there, the, the particle le, um, one single room. Two nights. Right. Okay. Then you also particularly want a room with a bath. Right. In that case, I would say, 我要带浴缸的房间。非常好. So I'm saying there, I want um, a room with a bath. Uh, with baths room. <laughs> <laughs> I find it very difficult with the the de there. Wo yao dai yu gang de fang jian. Okay. And then I say, 对不起，没有带浴缸的房间。
about the sense of things, I am not going to be able to have a bath. I'll have to have a shower. Correct. Okay, well, I'll just say, uh, may win tea. No problem. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. We're just going to write down this conversation and then we'll be back in one second so that we can do it a little more fluently. Okay, we've got this written down now, so we'll do it again, and this time, hopefully, it will all sound perfect. Uh-huh. 你好。请问有预定吗? 有。请问你的名字? 我姓彭,叫彭马克。我预定了一个单人间,两个晚上。我要带浴缸的房间。对不起,没有带浴缸的房间,但是有带您浴的房间。Okay, so that's the first part of our conversation. I think there are more things that we need to know about when we're arriving at a hotel because I think it's likely that we, we may be asked for a credit card to, to pay for the room. What's a credit card? 信用卡 信用 卡. In this case, credit, 信用. Mm-hmm. Card, 卡. 卡, so that's mm-hmm. to sound like the word for card, yeah? Precisely. 信用卡. So how would uh, a receptionist ask to see my credit card or to have my credit card? 请给我你的信用卡. Please give me your credit card. Mm-hmm. 请... 给我你的信用卡 mm-hmm. Right. Um, the other thing that the receptionist may ask for, especially if I'm a, a foreigner arriving mm-hmm. in, in a Chinese hotel, I guess is my passport. 护照. 护照. Mm-hmm. So what would normally happen when you arrive at a hotel in China? Would you give over your passport for it to be photocopied or something like that? Yes, they will make a copy. So that's hu zhao, the passport. So would a receptionist equally ask something like, "Xin gei wo ni de hu zhao? Please give me your passport. Of course, in any situation like this, what we're really looking for are those individual words, the key words, whether it's xin uh, yong ka, credit card, or hu zhao, passport. Okay. Now, another very important word when it comes to it. Again, we'll kind of know what's going on because mm. we'll be handed a key. And the key is? 钥匙. 钥匙. But normally, we don't use a key key anymore. We use the card, don't yeah. we? So you see, 房卡. 房卡. Again, card. 卡. Yep. 房 is room. Room card. Room card. So fang is kind of like short for fang jian. Right. So fang ka, the room card, right. the key card. So let's think of this and see if we can work out how this would be said because, again, we've, we've come across these before. Here is your card, your key card, your room card. Gei ni da yao shi or gei ni da fang ka. Right. So the, first of all, the key yao shi. 给你的钥匙 or 给你的房卡 mm-hmm. Could you say this is your key? 这是你的房卡 mm-hmm. This is your key card. Now, of course, when we're checking into a hotel and indeed in any situation, we do have a few things that we can fall back on. For example, um, I'm sorry, I don't understand. 对不起 我听不懂。对不起,我听不懂. I don't understand. Or if you really have to go there, uh, do you speak English? 你会说英语吗? 你会说英语吗? We can always go back to those phrases, but hopefully you won't need to. You'll be able to get through this whole conversation in Mandarin. Let's do the rest of this conversation in Mandarin. We'll go back to the situation where I was checking into a hotel. Let's do the second half and then we'll do the whole thing together. So, Crystal, can you help me with this part of the conversation? Mm-hmm. 
I will start by saying, 请给我你的护照 So there, you're asking me for my passport. 对，给。谢谢，请给我你的信用卡。That'll be my credit card.、Mm-hmm. 给。谢谢，这是你的房卡。九五八号房间。Right there, I've heard some numbers. You give you've given me my key card, but I've also heard some numbers. I think you said nine five eight. Was it room nine five eight? Yes. So I said nine five eight. How meaning number? Uh huh. 房间 room. So room number nine five eight. Right. Okay. So I'll I'll repeat that back. Nine five eight. How. 房间、嗯、，OK， 呃、uh, ，太好了。Um, if it's on the ninth floor, I'm guessing I would really like to know if there's a lift. What's the word for lift? 电梯。电 ，that that's the electric、yeah. thing, isn't it? What's T?、Uh-huh. T is staircase. OK, so the electric staircase. 电梯，呃、uh, ，在哪儿？电梯在你的左边。So it's on my left. 对，谢谢。不用谢。Okay, so I'm off to my room. Right, let's do the whole conversation this time. We will just take a note of these last bits, and then we'll go through the whole conversation. Okay, I've just arrived in the hotel. 你好。请问有预定吗？有。请问你的名字？我姓彭，叫彭马克。我预定了一个单人间，两个晚上。我要带浴缸的房间。对不起，没有带浴缸的房间，但是有带淋浴的房间。没问题。请给我你的护照。给。谢谢。请给我你的信用卡。给，谢谢。这是你的房卡，九五八号房间。九五八号房间，太好了。电梯在哪儿？电梯在你的左边。谢谢。不用谢。Okay, that is where we're going to leave this episode of Coffee Break Chinese. Of course, you can access our bonus materials where you can see all of this vocabulary written out in Pinyin and, of course, in Chinese characters, in the lesson notes and in the video versions. And we've got our bonus audio episode to help you test what you've learned. You can find that at coffeebreakchinese.com. This time, we'd like to ask a favor of you. If you can spare two minutes, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Google Play Music or Stitcher Radio, so that other Chinese learners can discover Coffee Break Chinese. We would be very grateful indeed if you were able to do that. Even a rating would be fantastic. But if you could time to leave a couple of sentences of review telling us how you have enjoyed learning with Coffee Break Chinese, that would be fantastic. That's it. Thank you once again for joining us. Next time we will be moving on to a new topic. Until then, 谢谢，再见，再见。You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved.